how to replace the front brake hardware kit on a Lincoln MKZ and Zephyr. This may also work with Ford Fusion and Mercury Milan. I already went ahead. I'm on a flat surface. What you want to do, you can put on the emergency brake if you want. Just to be on the safe side, I got my jack already jacked up. With that, I decided to kind of cheat. He's a, a ratchet with the big socket to make it go faster. Got all the what you want to do is jack up the car, take your center cap off. You can use that with the flathead screwdriver. And on a on the jack thing, it comes with a little pry thing on it. All you just want to do is kind of go right where this lip is here. And just try to pry the cover off gently. You want to be, be careful with it because the cover is fragile and it will break. So after you, you get the cover off, go ahead and break the bolts loose. After you get your bolts off, go ahead and take the wheel off. Just take it off just by one hand and just go ahead and sit this off to the side where it won't roll away or get damaged. After you get the wheel off, what you want to do is get a 14 millimeter or 9 16 And on here, on the brake caliper here, you want to go and break off, not break off, but break these two bolts loose, one here, and there'll be one right down here. And I will say this sometime, last time I've done it, it was hard to do. I just put a socket on there and you want to just take a hammer to it, hold the ratchet with it, and hit it until it breaks loose. After you get it broken loose, go ahead and you take the screws off of it, both of the screws. After you get the screws off, go ahead and just wiggle the caliper off. It may be hard, you may have to take a screwdriver right between here and just kind of pry it, but mine will just kind of wiggle loose of it. And go ahead and sit it off to the side. Make sure you don't get the line all tangled up and kinked up. Just set it off to the side where it won't get damaged. After you've done that, go and take your brake pads off. Mine's fairly hot because I just drove the vehicle. See it's still got a lot of meat left on it. Do the same way with the other side, just pull the brake pad off of it. But on yours, um, I noticed with mine, there are holes on it. I don't know if you'll be able to see it over here. I'll be able to see it or not but there's a clip that holds the two brake pads i guess together or away from it and mine are missing so that's why i'm going to replace the brake hardware so the, what i mean by the brake hardware is that clip that i was just talking about plus all of these pieces here too that are just all loose and falling off of it i can just smack and it'll fall off of it so with these things they are kind of stubborn i'll just take a flathead screwdriver and just kind of pry it off since these are old I don't mind of it breaking off or whatnot. I ain't gonna reuse it, so I could care less about it. So if I get it off of it, it's good to go. And you see that one just came off by hand. I don't think that's safe to drive with if you can just pull the thing off by hand. This one's a little bit tougher here. So this one, fairly good condition. It won't come off, but I'll try to get it off and replace it all with brand new hardware. So after you get the hardware off, you can take a wire brush and just kind of brush it up along here where the brake hardware was at. You can do it also on the top here. Just get it kind of all nice and cleaned up for the new hardware on it. Alright, I've already kind of jumped ahead. I've already put some of the brake hardware on. I've already got this one on. The bottom one on with one side of this piece here. When you do that, you want to kind of make sure there's like a little groove in here. I don't think you'll be able to see or not. You might can see right there that there's a little tongue on it. Let's see if I can find a piece for you. The brake hardware would look like that. And the piece I'm talking about is like this little tongue here. Uh, for this top one, it'll fit in just like that. And you want to make sure that tongue kind of catches onto that little groove that's behind here. Same thing with this other side. Kind of, it'll go down this way. You want to make sure that that tongue catches onto the bottom of this one here. It's just like a little groove that just kind of holds on to basically. Little catch here, you want to make sure too that these things only go in like a certain way. So, see how this one's got like a little longer tongue than this one? You can tell that it's facing the same way, so the tongue's that way. So, you want to make sure you're putting it in the right way. So, you want to take your time, make sure it lines up the way I'm doing it. It's like there's like that little wall over here, like that. I'm making sure it's going this way on this side here, where you can see that little longer groove here. Making sure it'd be like this way. 
So like this side would go right here. Then there's got you got some other pieces that'll go for the other side that you want to make sure it lines up. So after you're done, get all the hardware on, you're good to go. Not go ahead and put everything back together and drive off. You want to make sure you get your brake pads put on. Basically, just come back in the same way. Make sure you have the brake pad, this piece here, up against the rotor. I've seen somebody try to do it the other way. It's like that to stop the car. That will not work out. So you want to make sure it matches the same way that the brake rotor is shaped. After you get your brake pads in, it should look like this. Once we get that, you want to go ahead and install those clips. This piece here that I was talking about. And you'll see there's holes here. One here and one here. One here and one here. Somewhere along here. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but if you're doing this in person, you'll be able to see the hole. The camera probably will not pick up the little holes for this clip here. So that's what it should look like with this clips. You want to, uh, when you're trying to install those clips, you want to make sure you hold on to the brake pads. Cause these are kind of like spring loaded so it wants to push the brake pads out and therefore when you press the brakes it doesn't just rub up against the brake rotor the whole time so once you want to do that you want to grab the still hold on to that and grab the brake caliper try to get it in there as best you can without moving the pads too much there you go i got that where it holding the brake pads together so after the clips off the camera will pick it up where the clips are at should look like that. Then once you get that brake uh, caliper holding it in, you may have to compress the caliper in so you can slide the caliper in, uh, back onto the brake pads. Me, me, I didn't have to do that. I just kind of slid on there. So after that, you just want to go ahead and push the cal uh, yeah, caliper in all the way, line it up with the holes, and go ahead and put the screws into it. So right, I got the brake caliper in already. When you start the screw, make sure you do it in start it by hand first until it starts to thread in there then you can go and take your socket to and tighten it up all the way what i like to do also too i don't have a torque wrench to torque it down i just add it onto here and just take a hammer to it give it a couple whacks at it to make sure it's on there tight then after you've done that you're all good to go make sure everything's up and out of the way that you moved go ahead and put your wheel back on put the lug nuts on tighten it up to spec I tie it up the best I can off so I don't have a torque torque wrench for it or impact on it. Have to get your wheel back on, go ahead and go in the you know, vehicle, give the brakes a couple push without starting the car until it's firm. Start up the car, press the brakes for a couple times, put in gear and just slowly drive in, press the brakes a couple times again to make sure they are working functional. You don't want to uh, floor it and try pressing the brakes and they fail. So you just want to Drive slowly and make sure they stop you. So I'm moving on to the back end of it, and that's how you replace the front brake hardware on Lincoln MKZ and Zephyr. Thanks for watching.